Every once in a while, a video game comes around that truly transcends gaming as a concept. This is a very rare situation, it's only happened a few times in history, so today I want to sit down and talk about one of those games. Santa Claus is coming to town for the Wii. Leading up to the holidays, the thought of Christmas-related video games kept crossing my mind and I was trying to remember whether or not I had ever played any. I could have sworn I owned one a long time ago, but I couldn't really remember what it was, so I searched through some old video games in the basement and found this. This game was developed by First Playable Productions, the developers of these. They actually change minds. That, that's something they do. The game was published by Red Wagon Games. This is what happens when you Google them. What is gem? I've never heard of this. Um... Why? So this game is based on the 1970 TV movie of the same name, Santa Claus is Coming to Town. I like this movie, it's charming and silly and the stop motion looks really nice, so I was interested in seeing how they would go about telling the story in this game. <laughs> a baby? And there's a note. Please, sir, take care of my child and protect him from the dangers of the Mountain of the Whispering Wind. I, Burgermeister Meister Burger, take care of a baby. Outrageous! Well, grab your subscribe buttons and leave your likes, because this is going to be a bumpy ride. So the main menu boots up, and we have four options. Story, bonus, minigames, and options. Naturally, I decided to pick options, just to see what chaos I could cause there. Uh, tilt control. Tilt con- we're, we're gonna turn on tilt controls. No, we're gonna- we're gonna turn- We're gonna turn- turn them on. Okay, they're on. We're turning on tilt controls. I don't know what tilt controls do, but... But we're turning on tilt controls. The cutscenes in this game are revolutionary for how bad they are. I don't think I've ever seen cutscenes this bad in a game in a while. Obviously they exist. There are some awful animations in video games, but God, they should have just shown clips from the movie. I don't even know why they bothered going through all the trouble to recreate scenes from the movie if they're gonna look like this. All right, let's see, tilt controls. I wonder how that works. You have to tilt the Wii Remote to walk. Each level is pretty straightforward. You walk to the end. However, in order to proceed, you need to collect a certain amount of snowflakes. Once the bar fills up past this point, you're good. The only way to not achieve this is if you intentionally avoid them. Snowflakes are everywhere. You need to get more magic snowflakes to move on. See if you can collect enough. Each level also contains a little stocking you have to find. They're usually right out in the open, so that's not much of a challenge either. Every stocking you find unlocks a random screenshot from the movie for you to enjoy on the main menu. This has to be one of the lamest video game rewards ever. Imagine if in LEGO Star Wars, collecting red bricks gave you a screenshot from the movies. <laughs> Look everyone! I unlocked a picture of Jar Jar! This game is really lacking in game. You literally just walk around and occasionally jump. There's no way to die and the most threatening parts of the game are these frozen puddles you can slip on. I can't exactly see anyone rage quitting over these. The most excitement I felt throughout this entire game was when I thought the disc stopped working after I tried to go inside a house. The disc, of course, worked fine. This is just the game. Every time you need to go in a house to deliver presents, the game just stops, everything freezes, and you're left sitting there wondering whether or not your Wii's about to self-destruct. I'm about to show you the whole process of leaving gifts. Keep in mind, this is probably the most challenging part of the entire game.
point at the screen to hand out presents. Point at the screen to hand out presents. I get that this game was made for children, but come on, I would have hated this when I was a kid. This just sucks. You you do nothing in this game. You you do nothing. For some reason the toy building mini games count as their own chapters in the story. I mean, they were really stretching it when they said 25 levels with platforming and mini games on the back of the case. In fact, that's a lie. They make the game seem so much more interesting than it actually is. They make it sound like every level is packed solid with content, when in reality, most levels only take about two minutes to complete. Next up in the short list of content this game has to offer are the power-ups. There are three different power-ups you can get. The first two are the ability to jump higher, and the ability to move faster. You would think they would add a new interesting dynamic to the game, something fresh to keep the levels feeling alive and fun. They don't. The only purpose they serve is allowing you to collect the little stocking that's always right next to them. This is the only reason these are in the game. They might as well have just not included these stupid things if they're not even going to use them for anything in the levels. Now, I did say there were three power-ups in total. The third power-up is even more pointless than the first two. Invisibility. You're given temporary invisibility to hide from the guards that are patrolling the streets while you try to deliver presents. You get the power up, you pass by one guard, and your timer's up. That's it. That's all it does. Then the ability wears off. You don't even need this to avoid the guards. The guards are probably the most pathetic enemies I've ever seen in a video game. They just walk back and forth, and if they see you, they grab you, causing you to lose a few snowflakes that you can pick back up right away. In order to break free, you just shake the Wii Remote, and then the guard is done. He's knocked out. There's nothing left he can do. You don't even need to worry about these encounters though, because if a guard sees you, all you gotta do is jump over their head and then they immediately forget about you and continue on with their day. Alright, so far I've been making this game out to be pretty bad. There's gotta be something good about it though, right? Nope. <laughs> there really isn't. Going into this game, I honestly thought, you know, I was gonna, I was gonna go in, I was gonna make this, this whole review of it, maybe a, like a 20 minute long video, but I don't even know what to talk about anymore. Nothing happens in this game. You walk around, you collect snowflakes and stockings and stuff, and then that's it. You, you build some toys, you leave some presents, and that's the entire game. I will say the worst part of this game is probably the toy building mini games. You have to replicate the actions they show on screen with your Wii remote, but replicating those actions usually doesn't even work, and in order to actually complete the mini games, you just need to senselessly swing your Wii remote around everywhere. Sometimes when replicating the actions on screen wouldn't work, I would just point my Wii Remote at the sensor bar and do nothing, and that would work. At one point I got like seven toys built in a row by just holding my Wii Remote and not doing anything. Once you complete the main story, you unlock Super Santa mode, where you have all three power-ups enabled at all times. At this point, you might as well just not play the game. Literally nothing is stopping you from perfecting every level with relative ease. There's minigame mode where you play the toy building and gift delivering minigames, but instead they go on forever. And last but not least, you get to look at the screenshots from the movie! Alright, now, now I know I've been coming off as pretty negative in this video, and I usually try to stay pretty positive in my videos, and so I just want you guys to know that I really did enjoy this game. In a world filled with so many overcomplicated games, 
games where you need to learn how to play them, you need to complete objectives and get achievements. It's nice to just sit down and play a game where you do nothing. Being able to just sit there with no consequences, hold your Wii Remote in your hands and press buttons, or tilt it if you're into that. Ultimately, I have to give the game credit for those reasons. I I've never seen a game that's quite sucked my soul out of my body the same way this game has. As a video game, I can't recommend this, but... As a hypnotic experience, I say, look no further. Thank you for viewing this video, and happy holidays! More videos coming soon. <laughs>